How's it going everyone? This is James Leon here from Seamount Baco. I've been getting a lot of you guys asking how to properly fish our 1.5 ounce tubes. So today I'm gonna to show you. As far as setups go for fishing these tubes, I prefer something like this, which is a Tranks 400 loaded with a 40 pound J braid. And I'll fish that to a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. And the rod that we're using is a Shimano Terramar. And then on this combo, we got a Torium 14 paired with United Composite 800 Mega. And again, fish a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader and you're gonna fish that straight to the uh, tube, just like so. The exact specs for these setups will be listed in the description below. All right, so now you guys are all set. You got your CML tube tied on and you're ready to go. So as far as action goes, you're gonna make that nice long cast out there away from the boat. And as it's sinking, you're gonna be very attentive to the rate of fall. Um, so a lot of times you do get bit on the sink. So let's say you throw it out there, you didn't get bit on the sink. So now you're ready to work the bait in. So as far as working the bait, you're gonna click that rod and gear. You're gonna just lift up the rod tip, super slow. And all you do is wind down that slack. Again, just lift it up slow, wind down that slack. 90% of the bites are gonna come after lifting that rod tip up and when you, when you wind in your slack as the bait's falling back down to the ground. Now you're working your bait just as I explained. I'm gonna show you guys what that bait's gonna look like underwater. So it's on the bottom, you lift your rod tip up slow, the bait's gonna move up slow and have a real slow fall down. This is what really gets the fish going. Like I said, 90% of the bites come when that bait's falling down. And that's because our unique design with these skirts creates a, a very nice subtle action that makes this bait look so realistic underwater that the fish can't resist it. Now that's how you properly fish the 1.5 ounce sea mount tube for halibut, yellowtail, and white sea bass. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and I'll gladly answer any questions you may have. Now the only thing left to do is grab yourself some CML jigs, hop on the next boat, and get bit.